welcome again to the seven minute workout. Hey guys, I want to talk to you about supportive speech, which is a rip for life value. But before we do that, I want to identify some forms of speech that are unsupportive and unbecoming of a man. So we're going to take a look at five different types of men and the characteristics that define their speech. Now, the first type is the fibster. Now, fair warning, the fibster will lie to you just about everything. And he's the type of guy who's really covert in how he pulls it off. So the fibster tends to fabricate and exaggerate details in his life, including the size of his anatomy. And he's generally deceitful about all sexual matters. He also gives false statements about how much money he has in his pocket. And his accomplishments and greatness are always overinflated. Now, why does he do it? I mean, what's in it for him? The fibster suffers from underlying insecurities, and he can't bear the thought of being inferior to other men. So he stretches the truth and adds certain embellishments to burnish his credentials as a man. So that's the fibster. The second type is the F-bomber. The F-bomber. Yeah, full-scale F-bombers, they like to make a scene, call attention to themselves. They're really a narcissist underneath. That's what their deal is. That's what kind of drives them. But they get points for creativity. I mean, I'll give them that for sure. I mean, they can plug the F word into every figure of speech, use it as a verb, a noun, an adjective, a preposition, conjunction, interjection, exclamation. I mean, they just run the gamut on their figures of speech. So they get points for creativity, but their intellect suffers. Their vocabulary is narrow, and they're just not in control of themselves at all. I mean, who knows? You might even be an F-bomber. I'm not. So here we go with the third type, which is the fornicator. Yes, the fornicator. The fornicator's speech is defined by sexual fantasy talk. I mean, this is the guy that's always making a sexual wisecrack. He's always referring to something sexual in nature, and none of those things exist within the confines of marriage. His talk is purely driven by his lust-filled passions. So this is the fornicator. He objectifies women. Women are merely a means to his sexual ends. And this is what he does. This is how he thinks. And... He is the fornicator for that reason. You see this picture behind me, right over my shoulder? That's me and my wife, 26 years together. There ain't no fornicating going on. Fourth type is the fighter. Who is he? He's an antagonist. He's a trash-talking troublemaker with a big chip on his shoulder. Oh, he talks tough, but his ability to back up those words is often lacking. Arguments, verbal spats, interpersonal conflicts follow him everywhere he goes because of the fire and contempt that come out of his mouth. All right, so the fifth and final is the fanatical talker. The fanatical talker suffers from excessive talking disorder. He's just a nonstop talker talking about all kinds of crazy junk. He has a disease that psychologists call logoria, which comes from the Greek word logos, which means talk, and then from the word rhea, which means flow. So put those two words together and you have a perfect description of someone who suffers from diarrhea of the mouth. So we've talked about checking our speech and we've identified five unsupportive speech types ranging from the fornicator to the F-bomber to the fanatical talker. Now we need to talk about getting this fixed. What can we do? Where, where do we even start? How do we practice supportive speech? The first thing that we need to do is examine our heart. Always start with the heart. Jesus said, a good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart, and an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. So the condition of your heart determines your speech. Your mouth speaks what your heart is full of. So if you're harboring bitterness and anger and lust in your heart, then the way you speak is going to reflect that. So check your heart, gentlemen. You know, maybe you need a heart cleansing, and Jesus specializes in that work. He can purify your heart and make it clean. The heart of a man is the center of his being, and it is really, really important to get things right in your heart. All right, so the second thing that you can do is be accountable. Men like you and like me, we need speech accountability. We need friends that can help us. So if you're a full-scale F-bomber, I want to encourage you to find somebody that can keep your tongue in check, somebody that can help you break the habit. 
accountability measures are life-saving and you just can't go it alone because it'll never happen. Your speech reflects your integrity as a man and a friend who helps you tame the tongue is a friend in need and be that person for somebody else. If you have a friend who speaks disparagingly about women or people of another race, hold them accountable as well. Okay, so thirdly, and I want you to hear this one from my heart, guys. Your words are going to define you. Your speech is going to be the mechanism by which people judge you as a man. So I implore you, I encourage you to check your speech. Watch what comes out of your mouth. The culture in which we live is full of men who swear profusely, brag about their accomplishments, and talk crudely about women. Don't let that be you. If you find yourself getting sucked into those unsupportive speech patterns, I want you to know that God can set you free. There is hope. You can be a gentleman of excellent speech and eloquent thoughts if you set your mind and heart to it. Well, that's all for the 7-Minute Workout. Send us your questions, your comments, your feedback on Snapchat. Love to hear from you.